It's the best team we've had uh, ever. Ranked sixth in the world, and we can't get out of the round of 16. Now, look, there's going to be a lot of uh, said uh, and written about this failed campaign, but for me, it finished uh, in a calamitous way in that penalty shootout, and you all saw what happened. And for me, that mirrored or reflected what the whole campaign was, or, or in fact, since uh, that fateful day when Alan Stadgic was sacked. And now I'm not saying Alan Stadgic shouldn't have been sacked because I was an expert on the Matildas at mm. the time. Mm. Uh, from in, in my humble opinion, I thought it was harsh, but it should have been made on football reasons, not on the crap that we got. We got. So if you were going to put a list of things that derailed and made this campaign uh, a debacle, that would be top of the list. And then the, uh, the failure, well, the lack of clarity over the sacking from that moment onward, uh, till this day, really. Uh, all we've had is one pathetic apology from Heather Reid, and I'll get on to her in a moment, uh, you know, apologising, but we've had no real official word from anyone, really, about what happened with Stagic. We know that Stagic, and fair play to him, I don't know what it was, but I know it was a sizable uh, payout. He can't speak and, and tell the truth, uh, as he has said, uh, quite a few times, and I know he's been in touch with people in France during this World Cup campaign, which I guess is understandable when you think that he was the coach that probably should have taken uh, the team to the World Cup, given what has happened. Surely it wouldn't have been worse. Now, the other thing, uh, if you're going to make a list, as I said, the other one was Ante Milic, uh appointed, never coached a women's team. Uh, for me, that was a mistake uh, to get used to that environment. Um, in the short space of time, given the amount of games they had for preparation. I think we tried to change the tactics. I think they failed. Those tactics cost us the top position in the group, which probably meant we would have qualified for the quarterfinal uh, and not, we wouldn't have been playing Norway. Now, high on the list, as I said, is is now what I feel were political statements or the, the need for certain people to get political status, if you want, during this during this World Cup campaign, people who decided that the Matildas at the World Cup was a forum to push their own agendas and put their names forward, maybe to one of the most popular teams in the country. For me, it derailed what would have been a normal preparation. This was supposed to be about football. It is a World Cup. It is the pinnacle for any player, and particularly this team, which will probably won't survive till the next World Cup in its entirety, had a chance to do something special. Ranked six in the world, you know, they, they were outsiders to go all the way. But for people like Heather Reid to put out a pathetic apology two days before, uh, what was it, the Netherlands game? Why was that necessary? I mean, what, what was it about? That, you know, takes focus off the team. Then the PFA decided, our PFA, which is one of the smallest in the world, probably 250 to 300 members, decided to make an announcement two days before the World Cup, before the Italy game, that uh, they would make a statement and challenge the world on equality and, uh, in wages. Again, why would you do that? Why mm. would you take the focus off the girls trying to concentrate on what was supposed to be the football? Now, all these things uh, combined just shows you what a debacle this campaign was. And the failure of the players, for me to focus at the most important times wasn't entirely their fault. So there you go. Yes, it is a failure. People can say what they want, and you can say, oh, well, you know, it's not time for recrimination. I feel sorry for the team. I feel sorry for the girls who really, with everything I've just explained to you, I don't think ever gave them a chance.